Hey friends, welcome back to Vincent Gigi's Super Channel G. Look how incredible this whole first wave of Godzilla vs. Kong action figures looks from Playmates. It looks absolutely incredible. We have the 12 inch figures, we have the 6 inch figures, and there's still more to come out. So as we find them, as we get them, uh, we'll be reviewing them here. And then we'll just keep editing this video to make it longer and so you can have all of the action figures all in one place. So let's go ahead and get this rolling. So guys, if you have not already subscribed to our channel, please subscribe below. Hit the notification bell next to it so you get notified every time we have a new video come out. Talk to us in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Let us know where in the world you're watching from. Give us a big thumbs up. And what do you say, man, that looks cool. What do you say we go ahead and get started? Right now. What is up, Vincent Gigi? Vincent Gigi, Super Channel G. Super Channel G. Gigi. Vincent Gigi from Super Channel G. Super Channel G. Vincent Gigi on Super Channel G. So tight, don't stop doing what you're doing. Congratulations on all your success. Congratulations on everything. I will see you on the TV. Uh. Super Channel G. Yeah. God, is this great! All right, friends, well, I'm so excited to get started. We have all of these action figures that are available so far at the time of this video, obviously. And the latest ones we got were, of course, this huge King Kong and this Godzilla with Heat Ray. But they look absolutely incredible. We do a 12 inch Godzilla, a 12 inch King Kong here. We have the Skull Crawler, we have Godzilla with the Radio Tower. Kong with a battle axe and we have Godzilla with a heat ray and they look absolutely incredible and they'll have the battle damage that um, well these do and then those um, those huge beasts are just something else entirely but just to show you who all is in here of course we have those two up there but for these six inch figures it's these six so far there's still gonna be more but um, the four that we're looking at is these four and these two are still yet to come out. This Warbat with Osprey and Kong with Fighter Jet. So let's get started. Let's dive right on in. Let's take a look at how incredible these action figures really are. And let me tell you, these six inch ones are absolutely incredible. So let's jump right on in. Which one do you want to do first? Will it be this one, this one, this one, this one, this one? Mm, or maybe we'll save this one to last. Anyway. Let's jump right on in. Let's see, it's gonna keep it a mystery. See if you can guess which one we're gonna do first. So we're gonna do, let's go ahead and review this giant Godzilla. He is absolutely incredible. We're gonna kick it off with this bad boy right here. And man, is he massive. And there are absolutely some improvements from the Godzilla King of the Monsters action figure that it looks like it's almost the same mold, but it's not. So let's dive right on in and look what we have to do here. So first of all, yes, this is from Playmates Toys from the brand new legendary movie that's about to come out, Giant Godzilla, of course, the MonsterVerse. So very similar like the multiverse or the uh, cinematic universe. Well, for Godzilla and King Kong, it's the MonsterVerse with that monarch symbol right there. And look how beautiful this package is. Look how beautiful that Godzilla versus Kong, uh, you know, package looks. I love the colors. I love the way everything looks. It just popped right off the shelf. Look at that. Look how great this battle right here looks. And they're like on this aircraft carrier. That looks amazing. Look at those missiles being shot out. And they're both on top of it. I hope that's a scene in the movie because that looks unreal looks absolutely unreal almost looks like the game rampage doesn't it so let's see what the back says right over here godzilla versus kong giant godzilla and wow this looks absolutely amazing go to playmatestoys.com but all right back here it says 
Legends collide as Godzilla and Kong, the two most powerful forces of nature, clash in a spectacular battle for the ages. The monster war rages on the surface and deep within our world as a spectacular secret realm of the titans known as the Hollow Earth is revealed. Well, that says a whole lot about what's going to happen in the movie. I can't wait for it to be revealed. And let's get this bad boy on out of here. And I love the way he already has this blue charge going right here. Very much reminiscent of Godzilla, King of the Monsters. And so I'm like, where are my scissors? Okay. So here we go. Let's go ahead and cut Godzilla free. First of all, right here. Ooh, it's pretty thick, thicker than these simple little safety scissors. There we go. <laughs> okay, let's see. Cut this bad boy right on over here. I would have to bust that out. Perfect. And then. right on over here, but this is going to be a trickier than I thought. Sorry, guys. You know what? I can just pull them on out. Look at that. Oh, there's one on the foot, too. Okay. Out in a sec. There we go. Perfect. And look, here's this massive tail going on. Let's just cut that quickly. There we go. There we go. Okay, so look, there's nothing left in there. Nothing left in the package. But boy, does it look great. Put that aside right over here. And this should be pretty easy and pretty self-explanatory. Set him right here. Look at his tail. And there's no instructions in here, but at the bottom it does say, attach as shown. So, shove in there. Look how small they made the tail look. Okay. Let's pop this on in there. Pretty simple, look at this. And just shove and twist. There we go. Look how simple that was. Ooh, that would have been cool if this continued all the way down here. It does not, but still nonetheless. Look how incredible this action figure looks. And he's huge, look at this. And let me just say, first of all, this Godzilla is a vast improvement over the one from King of Monsters. And it's going to be subtle, the differences. But I'll tell you what the differences are. First of all... Um, okay, first of all, the wrists move. That's something that wasn't present in the other Godzilla. Um, I'm digging the colors. And his arms go significantly higher up. And um, they go about the same down, but significantly higher up. Look at this. Too bad the mouth still doesn't move. It's too bad the head still doesn't turn. But that is a vast improvement. And the legs, um, you know what? I think they move very much like, no, actually they, they do move further up. Look at that. And way further back. So that's incredible, look at that. They still don't move out, but they do move a lot further forward and back. And so here, the ankles also turn. That's something that looked like the ankles were going to turn on the last one, but they didn't. So this is huge. And then, of course, this tail. Um, it only has this one joint, but the only thing that I think could have been better is if the blue extended all the way down to the tail. But absolutely, this action figure is so great. And then it's meant to have this right leg back a little bit like this, so as to not have them both just standing forward like that, which it would look like he was sitting. So, would you like to compare him to the other one? We can pull that one right on out. And then it looks like the screws on the left-hand side of him, which I believe they were on the right-hand side on the old one. Let's take a look. No, that is correct. So, I'm gonna zoom on out, and you'll see that it's almost the same sculpt, but not 100% exact. Very, 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 very similar. Very, very similar. Almost exact, as a matter of fact, but not. So, again, this one has the screws on this side. 
Put some of the screws on this side, which, you know, obviously that doesn't make a big, huge deal as far as that goes. But let's compare the two. Okay, let's pull this Godzilla here. This Godzilla here, look at this. The heads are very similar. And you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the flashlight on because this other Godzilla is way darker. So, there we go. There we go, compare that. Look how it has the red eye. Look how the tongue extends further in the mouth, which that's a very minute detail, but still. There we go. And so I'm gonna put this back over here. And you're gonna see. This one's arms only go this far down, which this one actually looks a little further down, but only goes that far up. Look at that. And then wrists do not move, wrists do move. So that's awesome. And then this left leg goes that far back. This left leg goes even further back. And then while these ankles look like they turn, they do not. So let's see if this one's actually longer. It is. Look at this. So we're gonna put them side by side. And look at, um, oops. Sorry guys. Have them pretty much head to head right there. And look how much further this tail extends. So there is a significant difference in that tail. And plus it has an extra joint right here. So it can turn. But if you do notice, these is spikes right here. They look almost identical, and as a matter of fact, you can trace most of them to be almost exact, except look right here, and look right there. They are different. Slightly, but they are different. So, and then of course I'm digging the paint job on this one. And so this one definitely looks like King of the Monsters style, but this one looks more like the first Godzilla from the 19, I'm sorry, 2014 movie. But. They both look great, and I'm sure you wanted that comparison, but there's also paint for his claws right here on his feet. His, his crazy looking nails. <sighs> okay, so what do you think? Absolutely incredible. And there wouldn't be enough room to have them both on a review station, look at that. Oh, there's one taller than the other. Let's take a look at that. Maybe. Oh, this other Godzilla might be a little bit bigger, actually. Look at that. Maybe it's just because of the tail? No, he looks taller. Look at that. How can that be? Either way, doesn't that look absolutely incredible? Very cool. I'm going to take a picture real quick and then move on. This looks absolutely ridiculous okay let's go ahead and move on let's take a look at our six inch figures those look absolutely ridiculous okay let's get these guys off okay what do you say we review this Godzilla with radio tower looks absolutely wonderful and let's get closer here let's get right on up to this action figure and what a great way to kick this off with the six inch figures looks absolutely incredible and then battle damage reveal it's kind of a cool feature so again look how beautiful this package looks this godzilla versus kong look how amazing it looks both beasts look absolutely amazing look at the building right here and um, uh, the buildings in flames the city so here's a monarch symbol again, Monsterverse, and this looks so great. Look at this awesome action figure. It's got set up right there with that radio tower. And again, it talks about the legends collide as Godzilla and Kong, the two most powerful forces of nature, clash. So here's the other ones in the set, as we mentioned earlier. But um, man, that looks cool too. Um, but it looks like only three of these six are out. So of course this one, then we're gonna do this one, then we're gonna do that one. And these three have not dropped yet. 
but we're gonna get them and review them as soon as they come out. And you know what? Maybe make one long video eventually, but look how great that looks. Can't wait to get them out. Okay, so let's see what it says back here about Godzilla with Radio Tower. It says, Harness the awesome power of Godzilla's thunderous roar and devastating tail swipe as the king of the monsters battles Kong to settle an ancient rivalry. Absolutely. Okay, let's cut them out. Let's get our scissors. This should be fairly easy. I just don't want to accidentally cut him. There we go. Perfect. Should be... Wow, that was almost too easy. Let's get the tail out. There we are. And then we just gotta pop this out. I wonder, was it just this little piece of tape that was holding it? Interesting, oh, and it goes in there. Hmm, on both sides. But it looks like we can probably just pop this out. Look at that. And for that part, we we'll probably do the bottom. But, um, oh, I'm sure we can too. So, hmm, if I just do that, maybe. <laughs> okay. Perhaps. Now, nah, let's go ahead and cut it out. I don't want it to tear or break or bend. So, let's push this down. And it's got tape back here, that's why it's stuck. Makes sense. Boom, I just slide it on. There we go. Cool. All right. Let's take a look at our Godzilla. And did this one have instructions from the bottom? It sure did. Look at that. Attached tail is shown. Okay. So, wow. This is just going to go on here. That was pretty easy, actually. I'm like, is this posable? No, it's not. And. Does this, it has a tiny little lip that goes right on in there. Assuming I'm putting it the correct way. Yep. Just pop it on in there. It's a little awkward to just shove in there, but it does. And then it has a little place so you can rip it right down. Okay, so let's get even closer. Let's take a look at this Godzilla. First of all, this Godzilla is incredible. And this was the size we were looking for um, when King of the Monsters came out. They only made ones that were about this big. And we wanted these six inch figures. But look at this. The head turns, my friends. Turns. And the mouth opens and closes. Unbelievable. I've been dying for a Godzilla this size. You know, these are extremely affordable. They're just under $10. And look, his arm will go around. So he's got great articulation mobility as far as that goes for for this price of an action figure. Look, his legs go almost all the way back. This one does. And look how forward, how much forward the legs go. And then his ankles, they do or don't move? Well, they do slightly. I don't know if they're supposed to, but they do a little bit. But don't know if they're supposed to. But Look at that, got some paint on, the, on his toenails. And I like the sculpt. Again, I love that blue glowing. And the blue glows almost to the complete bottom of the tail. So that looks great. And I love how we can actually articulate this in multiple ways. We can spin it and move it side to side. So, take a look at this radio tower. He's gonna use like as a weapon, I guess, unless he's just knocking it over. But we can put that here. And I don't know if it's supposed to stay. Let's see what the picture is. And this is super soft, squishy almost. Let's see. It's supposed to hold it like this. So. Let's see. <laughs> Just like that, right? And his hand goes right in between those two. There we go, look at that. That looks awesome. So, so cool. 
This looks absolutely incredible. Look at that. Wow. Incredible. All right, what do you say? We move on to our next action figure. Who do you want to do next? We have two left. I say we do, well, let me set him aside first. Let's do, oh, I dropped his, his action piece. Let's do, yes, for sure. Friends, let's do Kong with Battle Axe. And I got something to say about this Battle Axe, but you know what, let me get us back up again before we zoom on in, okay? Okay, so what I wanna say is this battle axe looks an awful lot like that's supposed to be one of the pieces of Godzilla's spine, doesn't it? Doesn't that almost look like it's supposed to be? What if he like ripped it out of Godzilla and poof, threw it on a big, uh, I don't know what is that, it's supposed to be like a huge tree? I don't know. But um, looks pretty sick right there. But let's take a look at this box, a battle damage reveal, and his is on his arm. Looks like some pretty crazy um, flesh torn off. Absolutely incredible. Take a look at the box. Cool monarch symbol. I've always liked that monarch symbol, the monster verse. And I don't think I'm ever going to get over how cool that looks. That looks absolutely incredible. So take a look at this. Give you a glance again at all the action figures that are going to be in this set. And I'm like, Warbat. Hmm. Warbat. And you know what? Actually, I think there's one that's not on here that I've already seen that was supposed to be a, like a name in Japanese. So this isn't going to be all of them. I don't think it's going to be all of them, actually. So look how great he looks. He's even got slashes across his chest. And it says the same thing up here about the titans known as the hollow earth is revealed the realm of the titans but over here with this awesome godzilla logo right here look at that it says kong with battle axe feel the mighty strength of kong as he enters the ultimate battle royale against godzilla with bone crushing primal strength and a legendary new weapon fit for a king it absolutely looks like Kong's version of Stormbreaker. Uh, that's a bit much. <laughs> so, it very well may be. But I doubt he'll summon the Bifrost. So let's cut him out. And what's left? Is this, is this the only one? I think I'm going to have to raise the arms to cut him out. I definitely don't want to cut the action figure. I'm gonna get in. There we go. Such an awkward angle. Okay. Do you think we can get this out? Yes, we can. Let's destroying this box. Yes, it's just taped in here. Ugh. I'm trying to take it out without destroying it either. And let's get his little piece of. Flesh. Ugh, it's tape too. So I'm like, come on. Come to Papa. There we go. That's how I got that. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna get closer. Let's take a look at our King Kong. Look how great that looks. And it tastes super dark though, but let me bring the light so you can see. Look how cool that looks. It's great. I'm digging those red eyes too. And you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking these arms are going to be really outstanding poseable. So, look at those the scrapes across his chest. So the head turns this way and this way, but does not go up and down. And look at this. Oh, whoa. Look at that. Now that's articulation. That would have been beautiful if they would have done that for the Godzilla, even though he doesn't need to have crazy um, articulation. But look at that. The wrists turn, my friends. The wrists turn. The elbows turn. The elbows go out. Almost a 90 degree angle. Well, not quite. Not quite almost, but definitely come in and then go out straight. 
and the there is absolutely wonderful articulation here. Head will at least pivot, and his waist doesn't move. There's there's no joint there to this, but his legs have wonderful articulation also, and so do his knees. Now there is no ankle articulation, but um, look at that. Doesn't that look absolutely amazing? Man, does that look great. <laughs> so, look at this. That looks awesome. And let's take a look at this skin right here with the fur. It looks like it fits right on in here. I guess we're gonna have to kind of slide it on in there first and then put it over here. Look at that. There we go, that looks great. And let's see what we're gonna do about, oh look, this is a closed fist. And this one isn't, uh, it's open right here on the fingers so that we can place this in here. We haven't taken a, a big look at this, but get this here so we can get it in focus. Doesn't that absolutely look like a, you know, one of the spine pieces from Godzilla? And definitely very reminiscent of Stormbreaker if it was just bent this way. So, let's put this, let's see how hard it is to put this in his hand. Look at that. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And if you've seen King Kong Skull Island, man, did he use all sorts of weapons in that movie. He used like a propeller that was kind of like a, almost like a chain mace or whatever. He's like swinging it around. It looked absolutely sick. Look at that. And look, his wrist moves so. We can have this pose all sorts of ways. And if we bring Godzilla out here, look at that. We could actually have him holding this. Oops. Right? Look how great that would be. Get this in focus. Taking a couple pictures because it looks phenomenal. Okay. What are your thoughts, friends? I think it looks absolutely unreal. Okay, great. But he said we move on to our last action figure. Set these aside. Next, we're gonna do Skull Crawler. And Skull Crawler looks pretty outstanding. And let me tell you, I was kind of cut off guard when these were the bad guys in Kong Skull Island. But after a while, I was like, man, these are pretty fierce. So look at this beautiful package. And look how they're gonna rip off like his back. That May or may not happen in the movie. Look at his um, vertebrae here in his rib cage. But here's the heave. I guess we're gonna we're gonna call it or pronounce it. I'm not sure, but it stands for Hollow Earth Anti Gravity Vehicle. So clearly, you're probably gonna go into something like the center of the Earth. And I can't wait to find out. So let's get this bad boy open. Actually. I'm so sorry, let's read the back and then get this bad boy open. It looks like a fully articulating arms. So, back here it says, Skull Crawler with Heave. The most dangerous super species on Skull Island. The ferocious Skull Crawler attacks with razor sharp claws and a whiplash tail to dominate opponents in battle. It looks absolutely incredible. I can't wait to get these other ones. So it's gonna be these three with heat ray with osprey and with fighter jet so all right let's get this skull crawler on out and hopefully it'll be easy to cut him out perfect and what about this great that was pretty easy actually let's get his tail Okay, awesome. And then, can we, oh, there is tape right there. Oh, well that just popped right on out. 
<laughs> there's tape underneath it so there we go and there we go and that worked out just perfectly look how amazing that looks absolutely incredible Let's move this out of the way and take a quick picture actually look at that okay put that aside let's take a look at our skull crawler let's come down closer and you know what just to be sure there is the instruction attach as shown assembly <laughs> not terribly complicated so they're like you'll figure it out so just pop that on in there that doesn't move there we go and so again it'd be cool if that red extended out into the tail which it doesn't looks like you can pivot it a little bit and then spin it and then here is that hollow earth uh, vehicle anti-gravity vehicle Let's zoom in even closer so we can get a good look at it look at that it's got where obviously this is going to be a huge vehicle they can look out the front here look at that I'm assuming these would probably and they attach right there right but um there's an awful lot of wonderful detail in here and we just have it hollow here too but it's cool okay so let's get our skull crawler here and look that looks wicked we we'll probably just pop this on right here look at that that would fit right on in here and then Boom! You could just close this by shoving it a little bit down. There we are. And then you can just lift it right here from this lip. Let's see, does the head move? The head turns slightly, but it doesn't look like it's really supposed to. Okay. The jaw moves wonderfully. Look at that. It's got this here, but really it's supposed to be skull. I don't know if that's supposed to be the eye, because I thought it was supposed to be like, you know, just looking through this empty hole right here, but that looks great. Um, look how awesome these arms articulate. Very awesome. And then this elbow right here works really well. Turns, pivots. Now, as cool as the hands look, uh, the wrists do not move, so that's something to keep in mind. Look at that. My arms extend fully out and come almost to a 45 degree angle. I guess if you push it hard enough, but um, so this is outstanding articulation for that. And then I'm gonna zoom out for that. It's a great sculpt, and I'm hoping this is like to scale. But man, does that look absolutely! Ridiculous. Look at that. Ridiculous. Okay, let's get everybody out here. What do you say to that? Because, man, does that look amazing. Let's put everybody out here. Let's get our Kong. Let's get our Godzilla here. And a skull crawler. And I'm sure there's gonna be more bad guys than just him. And I'm sure them two are clearly gonna fight. Maybe it'll be a little bit like Batman versus Superman, where they fought and then they became good friends. They were good chums after that. But um Yeah, this looks wonderful. And I'm so excited to get a skull crawler that has articulation like this. So glad to get this. Um, King Kong with that sort of articulation and this size these are all in the six inch variety and let's close Godzilla's mouth a little bit there we go so it wasn't just <laughs> but man and then we can of course put our where is he huge Godzilla the 12 inch one put him in the back have him here Look at that. We'll bring these dudes this way. Look at that. Doesn't that look just unreal? Okay, and before I move on to our next action figure, I just wanted to 
take a look at uh, this pose that I put our three guys so far in. We have, of course, our Godzilla, our King Kong, and our Skull Crawler. But check this out. They're like all like free for all, having this incredible battle. And King Kong's just kind of in the middle of it, but he can definitely hold his own. Here's Godzilla and our Skull Crawler. And this is, you know, this is just a suggested way of being able to pose these figures. So just move their legs a little bit. Was able to prop up King Kong right up here. And, uh, you know, there's several different places where I help prop them up and then propping up the skull crawler, but their articulation makes it so easy. So here's our action figures and let's move on to the next one. But I really thought you'd appreciate, you know, the suggested way of showing this huge like battle royale melee going on right now. Okay, cool. And look how, oops, there's my hand. Look how awesome this looks as if it's this battle from the, from the ground. So, all right, cool. Let's move on to our next action figure. Okay, and now we're gonna do this incredible Godzilla with heat ray. And I found this bad boy um, on a second shipment wave that um, we're able to get at Walmart. And man, does this package look incredible. I know we've really been marveling at how that looks, but look how incredible this looks, right? Of course, the same packaging as the other ones, but I just love this monarch symbol right here. Of course, the monster verse, and then, um, what is this, perhaps Hong Kong? But um, nonetheless, it looks incredible. And to kind of compare to the, the other Godzilla we have, we're gonna compare that one in just a moment. So. Let's get it on open, what do you say? Uh, but before I forget, let me read the back. Okay, so look how awesome this looks. I can't wait to put this heat ray in his mouth and I'm sure it hooks up right in there, look at that. And then um, again with the battle damage, showing everybody here, these are the two that are left we don't have. And then we've seen images online of other ones that are not in here, so this will be the full first set I guess so let's read what it says back here it says Godzilla with heat ray harness the awesome power of Godzilla's thunderous roar and devastating tail swipe as the king of the monsters battles Kong to settle an ancient rivalry yeah and let's bring this lower and we got our handy dandy scissors all right that was super easy let's pull them out and let's get the tail. All right. Nice. And then I wonder if we'll be able to pull this uh, out easily or if it's gonna be pushing back on us. You know what? Hmm. I'm like, come on, little tape. There we are. Come on, little tape. Perfect. We have that, now we just need to get this part out. Cool, let's see if we can just slide this bad boy on out. Looks like we might be, oh, there's tape in there also. Otherwise, the answer may have been yes. Ooh. All right, who thinks I can, there we are. I was like, who thinks I can get it? I got it. Oh, and this popped out, cool. All right, whatever. Set that aside, and let's come on closer and you know what just to make sure nothing different the whole assembly right there attached tail is shown so what we gotta do is pop this bad boy on here oh this one's harder than the other one so we've <sighs> definitely harder and I don't even know if it's all the way in and let me tell you these are a lot spikier than I felt for the other one know if it's all the way in there but feels like it could be <laughs> but I'm not a hundred percent sure okay well it is pivoting and turning well enough so okay so let's take a look at our Godzilla and I can tell you I'm loving that we can open the jaw on these Godzilla action figures and we can turn the head at least slightly the blue eyes 
different color than the other Godzilla one we just did. And his skin here is it's not quite black, it's like a really dark gray. And um, it's definitely darker than the other action figure. Okay, so this leg is always meant to be a little bit further up when he stands. And the legs go this far out and this far back. And the arms go what appears to be all the way around. It does hit here, but you can just kind of pull it out. And they go around like that. So that's cool. The wrists do not turn here. I'm like, hmm. Okay, do the ankles turn here? Uh, they look like they, they move slightly, but I don't know if they're necessarily supposed to turn, but they do a little bit. Of course, you saw how the tail moves. It only has the one joint. Be nice if this went all the way to the end. I said that on the last figure, but it still would be. And then here is the battle damage. And man, this is supposed to be his ribs. Goof. Okay, you can just put this piece on in here. Oop, did I put that upside down? Sure didn't. <laughs> okay, so let's slide that right on in there. And you know what? This isn't working. Let's try the other way. Let's try this side first then. There we go. That was a lot more successful. Let me do the top part first. Okay, it's a little harder to get in there than the other ones. And then it has a little lip right here. You can pull that out. So that's really awesome. Again, let's zoom in to look at the head. Look at that. Okay, look, there's like a little hole right in there. And so here's the heat ray. Cool, man. I love how um, all this is see-through. The spikes on his spine, right? So that way you can see what it looks like. I love how they light up and they're translucent. So that looks absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. We're going to put this right on in here and it should go like this. Look at that. To me, that doesn't look absolutely incredible. So, we stand them up like this. We could, if I'm leaning over, we could put. Kong in front of him. Look at that. That looks really awesome. So, man, I'm really loving this action figure. It looks great. And let's compare him to the other Godzilla that we opened right before this one. And it looks like a very similar sculpt, if not the same. Let's see. Extremely similar. Like, look at the scales, the, the spikes here. Let's see how long the tails are. Looks like it very well, maybe. I'm like comparing the stuff. So look at it. Like, okay. Like, okay. You can judge for yourself here. Very well made. Pretty amazing, huh? Now, that being said, I wonder if the previous Godzilla does have that hole in there too. So you know what? We can kind of go from this one to that one. We can just pop this out like that. Take a look at that. absolutely great and man look at that just depends on whether or not he's charged up and glowing ready to fire off and whether or not he's in the dark but doesn't that look absolutely great and i love how this one looks like where he's like screaming right there so that part's interchangeable and i'm really loving that these are two incredible godzilla action figures especially considering they're less than 10 bucks each both have this right here for the battle damage and you do need to put the top part first and just learn that a moment ago this one was so much easier to put in but um isn't that absolutely amazing and so definitely can't beat it for the price and then 
Godzilla action figures. They fly off the shelves and then you never see them again and they're hard to find on the internet. So how awesome is that? I have it on a similar if not identical pose so that we can compare the two. Look at that. Awesome. Very cool. Okay. So. Look at that. Get one more shot right here. Doesn't that look awesome? Okay. So. These look absolutely amazing. And I can't wait to open uh, the huge King Kong. The 12, 12 inch tall one. So let's take a look at that one. What do you say? Cool. And we'll move these bad boys right on over here. Okay, awesome. Okay, and here's this huge main event right here. Giant Kong. Oops, trying to get the camera higher. And look how incredible that looks. That looks absolutely amazing. Giant Kong. And this package just pops off the shelf. Look at that. It's absolutely incredible. Turn it around. Of course, we have the same art back here. Doesn't that look amazing? Absolutely. All right, cool. Let's take a look. Okay, so um, let's take a look at the back, actually, before I get a little lost. And then this one doesn't have an individual write-up. It's going to be... Basically the same thing we just read when we opened the six inch Godzilla, much like all the other ones. But first of all, look at, again, this awesome, incredible, just battle they're having right here on top of this aircraft carrier would appear. There's humans, everybody just kind of all brawling at the same time. Um, this is of course, Giant Kong. And yeah, you know what? Let's read it one last time. Why not? So. Legends collide as Godzilla and Kong, the two most powerful forces of nature, clash in a spectacular battle for the ages. The monster war rages on the surface and deep within our world as the spectacular secret realm of the titans known as the Hollow Earth is revealed. All right, that was enough to get me super excited. And this will show you the size of the other Kong and it is nothing compared to the size of this one. So, let's go ahead and cut them on out. Let's see, and you know, I don't even know if I need to cut the ones on the bottom. Probably not. Probably just lean him forward. There, look at that. Okay. And there's no assembly or anything. Look how cool that looks. Quick picture of that. Okay. Set it aside. Look how massive this Kong is. Now, he doesn't have tons of articulation, so that's something that I noticed right off the bat. And so, as we compare him to size and color, this Kong is, this is a six inch one, this is the 12 inch one. You see is absolutely about double. Might be a little bit shorter than that, but um, I love that the head at least turns a little bit. Wow, it actually turns a lot. Too bad it doesn't go back and forth, but um, let's take a look at the head sculpt. The ears. Looks great. Look at that. Okay. Now, we've got the slashes right here down his chest. And the arms spin all the way around. And the wrists do turn. Look at that. Although it looks like he's supposed to be holding something, maybe that'll be later when they give him his, his axe, his battle axe. And this one's closed fist, because that's gonna be very similar to how this one's done. See? But the legs and the arms do not have the articulation that this one does. So the legs only turn like this. Now the feet do move like this. They turn side to side. And this wrist turns also. So the best articulation you're going to get is really just 
you find where his arms, uh, I'm sorry, his legs stand well, and he still balances with the arms. And so this is going to be about the all the posability you're going to get, but still a really cool figure. He's big, he's bulky, and let's compare him to what size our, our Godzilla is, right? Let's bring Godzilla on out here. And so I moved him to this side because Godzilla's legs are um, to where this one's always going to be slightly forward and it makes for a more appealing shot than having it like this where it blocks the other one. Now, and plus, it's got uh, the screws here. So this makes for a much more appealing uh, shot and scene. Look at that. So you can have him like. getting ready to, to fight right there. Look at that. Oop, it looks like they're about to dance. And not fighting. <laughs> Look at that. So, they're huge. This is so cool. Look at that. Kind of looks like he's about to say, why I oughta. <laughs> so, we can get definitely a lot of, of you said these really amazing tall action figures and so just to get an idea how big they are here is Kong and uh, Godzilla the big ones and the small ones look at that but man am I loving the way we can pose these smaller ones and the detail on those these are still cool, so these are less than 10 bucks, and these are just under 20. But um, they're all cool and special in their own right for their own reasons. So, let's get everything on out here now. Let's put everybody on uh, up here on the review table. Give me just a second, guys. There we go. Okay, so we got everybody set up here. And so far, these are all the action figures that have come out from these incredible Playmates Toys Godzilla vs. Kong action figures, right? The movie hasn't come out yet at the time of this video, but it absolutely will be coming out soon. And, well, actually, it's going to be next year now. <laughs> I just remembered. They pushed it from November to May. But I am so excited. I'm probably going to end up watching Godzilla, watching... Kong Skull Island and then Godzilla uh, King of the Monsters just to get all hyped up about it again but isn't that amazing so we're gonna go ahead and wrap up now guys but um, if you've not already seen the first ones uh, you definitely need, need to go back and check out our other video um, on our channel that shows them all so or just rewind if it's on this video <laughs> but alright guys so if you've not already subscribed to our channel please subscribe below Hit the notification bell next so you're notified every time we have a new video come out. Talk to us in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Let us know where in the world you're watching from. And yeah, give us a big thumbs up. So guys, we'll be seeing you soon. Thanks again for watching Vincent GG's Super Channel G. Peace.